There's the completed uh, project and uh, coming up now is the schematic diagram. I did a modification to the uh, meter uh, sensing part of the circuit but that will come up later uh, and I'll explain why. I first of all set up a rough guide of the wiring and the component uh, placement. I was going to etch a PCB, but it was such a small PCB that I just gouged it out with a hacksaw blade and a Stanley knife. So there's the uh, uh, the off cut, and uh, here's the uh, six insulated islands for the components, the resistors, the capacitors, and the diode. So uh, they were soldered up, and there's the final. Uh, I, I, you, you might notice I use a 1200 ohm instead of a 1k uh, resistor, but that's not a big deal. There's the completed uh, project, uh, the box top and bottom, and uh, everything uh, fitted in nicely. Once again, a photograph of the uh, of the completed project. Okay, the resistive SWR bridge is now in circuit and I'm using the 40 meter dipole and as you can see there I'm on 30 meters, 10.106 megahertz. So uh, I'm just going to first of all explain the operation of the uh, the bottom knob here uh, is a three position. The first position sets the full scale deflection of the meter uh, using the uh, the variable resistor. So the idea is in position one to get full scale deflection. Position two then is monitoring the current SWR situation and uh, then you can adjust the uh, ATU to get the SWR down as low as possible and then when you're happy enough with that you switch to position three which bypasses the uh, the bridge. So I'm going to send out a carrier here on uh, on 30 meters and uh, we'll go through that procedure with the eight with the antenna connected directly uh, not going through the uh, the circuits inside the ATU so here goes okay so there's a carrier so position one and I'll try and get the meter there to uh, full scale deflection Okay, that's about it there. And now what I've got to do is go to position two, which will show me the relative SWR. It's not too bad, but it's not zero. So uh, that's with the end, uh, with the 40 meter dipole going directly. Now I'm gonna go through the ATU and adjust for better SWR. So uh, we, we go through the procedure again. Position one, we've got full scale deflection there. Position 2 shows the relative SWR, and you can see there it's about half scale. I'm going to adjust the ATU now, and uh, I've already preset it, so just for this. So here goes, and you can see there as I adjust it, the deflection goes down to uh, zero. So that's the, uh, the ATU set for uh, best SWR. And when I'm happy enough with that, I switch to position three, which isolates the bridge totally. So now the uh, the antenna is connected uh, directly to the rig, uh, of course, via the ATU, but the, uh, the SWR bridge is not in circuit now, it's bypassed. So that's the uh, operation uh, of the uh, resistive bridge. As I say, it's not quantitative, but it's uh, relative and it's a good tool there to set SWR as low as possible. So 7.3 from EI5 Echo Mike. <laughs> I made two modifications to the original circuit as per the schematic. First of all, I put two uh, germanium diodes back to back across the meter movement uh, to give it some sort of protection. 
But I also found that the uh, adjustment of the meter movement on full scale deflection was not very linear. So instead of having the variable resistor in series with the meter, I set it up with a voltage divider and uh, the meter uh, is in the center there. So it's much more linear and much more satisfactory. And I was delighted with that. I haven't given it a, given a description uh, of how the circuit works. It's, it's basically a, a voltage uh, measurement, and there's uh, the description there from the uh, from the authors, and that's also available on the website, uh, which is included in the uh, upcoming uh, uh, credits at the end of the video. So seven three from Echo India Five Echo Mike.